There are three kinds of zones that God wants us to live. Number one, wrong location. If you are not divinely located, you cannot be divinely connected. Don't expect a divine connection in that wrong location. Number two, wrong relationship. Break off every relationship that cannot make lies. Your tomorrow. Number three, wrong character. There are certain characters that are like desert. No matter how many years you live in them, you cannot be a fruit. Wrong characters are barren land. You cannot be a fruit in them. Bless you. The greatest blessing on earth is a genuine relationship with God established through salvation in Christ Jesus. This is a year of greater heights. But there is a single command to carry out for this to come to fruition. What is that command? Living in your comfort zone. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, God said to Abraham, Leave your country, your kindred, and your father's house for a land that I will show you. As far as God was concerned, that zone was a rejected and a fruitless ground for Abraham. Use your spiritual eyes to know if you are on the right zone. There are three kinds of zones that God wants us to live this year for greater heights. Number one, wrong location. Some people are in wrong locations. Many of them are there because their parents, siblings, friends, churches, businesses, and places of work are there. That's why they are there. But Abraham was told to leave his country. Your own could be an area, a province, a district, states or even a country as well it is good to obey god listen if you are not divinely located you cannot be divinely connected don't expect a divine connection in that wrong location number two wrong relationship abraham was told to leave his kindred and his father's house. What relationship do you keep? Can your relationship with that person you call a friend promote your future? That person you call a fiance or a fiance, does he or she have a place for you that can crown or promote your future? Quit that relationship now that it has not made them a force to marriage. If not, you may regret it tomorrow. Is there a future in that relationship? Listen, break off every relationship that cannot affect lies. Your tomorrow. Yes. Number three, wrong character. There are certain characters that are like desert. No matter how many years you live in them, you cannot be a fruit. Wrong characters are barren land. You cannot be a fruit in them unless you leave them. Can that character impact your generation positively? If it cannot change it, that character may be comfortable with you, but if it cannot fertilize your future, I got it. The secret of Abraham's greatness depended on his obedience to God's command. Similarly, going to greater heights this year depends on leaving your comfort zone. The wrong location, the wrong relationship, and the wrong character. God 
promised Abraham greatly. There were fivefold blessings God promised him. Number one, God said to him, I will bless you. God promised to bless him. Number two, God said to him, I will make your name great. When God blesses you, then your name will become great. It is your blessing that introduces your name. If you are not blessed, your name is useless to the whole world. Number three, God said to him, I will make you a blessing. When God makes you a blessing, it means that anyone that comes in contact with you becomes blessed. We need to know one thing. Blessing is not just material possession. The greatest blessing on earth is a genuine relationship with God established through salvation in Christ Jesus. Number four, God said to him, I will cause everyone that causes you and bless everyone that blesses you. Here, your enemies become God's enemies and your friends become his friends. This happens when you leave your comfort zone for the place that God approves. Number five, God said to him, through you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Do you know that Jesus Christ came under the lineage of Abraham? He brought redemption to the whole world. That fulfilled the promise of God to Abraham. If you leave your comfort zone and become an instrument in the hand of God, to be frank, you can become a voice that can bless the whole world. God has released a grace for you to go to great height this year in all your endeavors. But leave that wrong location. Leave that wrong location for the place that God will approve. Leave that wrong relationship that does not have a place for your future. Again, leave that wrong character that cannot fertilize your tomorrow. And it shall be well with you. Shalom.